Now I have shown you uh, what you call it, uh, Lokna, where uh, Viruddha Ka Raja, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, saw the Buddha in a distant city under a leafless tree, and he interacts with the Buddha. Uh, like Viruddha Ka Raja wanted to slaughter the Sakyas, and he had uh, gathered a huge army for that. Anyway, he, what do you call it, uh, uh, changes his mind after his interaction with Buddha and then he uh, disbands his army. But anyway, later on he still uh, slaughters the Shakyas and he slaughters 500 Shakya females. This gets the Buddha angry and he predicts that, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Viruddhika Raja will die in seven days. Now, Viruddhika Raja, when he hears this, he is scared because he respects the Buddha and he knows of the Buddha's powers. <clears throat> he is scared and he keeps himself very safe for seven days in his palace. He keeps himself very safe in, for seven days in his palace. And then, on the seventh day, when he, he finds himself still alive, he is very happy and decides to celebrate. Folks, the stupa's name is Bhog Jot, where he dies. Bhog Jot, where he dies. So, basically, he decides to celebrate and according to Zhang Zhang, see, there are two versions of uh, Virudhaka Raja's death. One version says that he died from a fire in his palace. A fire engulfed his palace and he died in that. And another Zhang Zhang's version is different. He decides to, what do you call it, uh, enjoy himself, entertain himself. He tells all the palace maidens to go to the lake. And on the banks of the lakes, he lake, he enjoys wine, woman and song. Viruddhika Raja enjoys wine, woman and song. That the Buddha's prediction wasn't true. That he was still alive. So he is in a boat with his woman and his wine, enjoying song when suddenly the waves part and the boat sinks down and a great fire engulfs Viruddhika Raja. Folks, this is the story of the death of Viruddhika Raja. So, I hope you all found this uh, video educative. Folks, you can see how Zhang Zhang has been taking me from stupa to stupa to stupa. See, we are traveling on what do you call it, uh, anti-Buddhist territory where Chancha the Brahman's daughter slandered the Buddha, where uh, Kukuli the Bhikshuni slandered the Buddha, where da Dev Dutta tried to kill the Buddha. All these are nearby, close by. So, folks, I hope you found this video, uh, what do you call it, educative. If you did so, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe to my page, Buddha Exhumed. And don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about this video. Thank you.